In our quest for love, we often find ourselves drawn to the idea of finding our other half, that one person who completes us. This pursuit, deeply rooted in our desire for connection, can sometimes lead us down a path of endless searching. But what happens when we think we've found the one? How do we discern if this partnership is built on a foundation of compatibility, or if it's merely a fleeting alignment of circumstances? To navigate these waters, we turn to the wisdom of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that teaches the value of understanding our own virtues and aligning them with the world around us. Stoicism offers a grounding perspective, reminding us that compatibility extends beyond shared interests or fleeting passions. It's rooted in a mutual respect for each other's character and life philosophy. Imagine, if you will, a relationship where both individuals, guided by the principles of Stoicism, find harmony not in their identical views, but in their shared values and respect for the natural ebb and flow of life. This Stoic anchoring encourages us to look beyond surface-level connections and delve into the deeper, more meaningful aspects of compatibility. It teaches us that true compatibility is not about avoiding conflict, but about facing it with wisdom, courage and integrity. But let's be real for a moment. Understanding and accepting differences is easier said than done. We're all wonderfully complex beings, each with our unique blend of quirks, passions and perspectives. The question then becomes, how do we differentiate between the normal variances that make a relationship interesting and those that signify a deeper incompatibility? This is where our journey begins today. We'll explore the signs that may indicate a fundamental mismatch, drawing not only on modern relationship science, but also on the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. By weaving these perspectives together, we aim to offer you insights that are both practical and philosophically rich, guiding you towards a deeper understanding of what makes a relationship truly compatible. So, whether you're navigating the waters of a new romance, pondering the depth of an existing partnership, or simply seeking to understand the nature of human connection, this discussion is for you. Join us as we explore the signs of an incompatible relationship, armed with the clarity and tranquility that Stoicism brings to our modern quest for love. As we embark on this exploration together, we are deeply grateful for your continued support and engagement. Please subscribe to our channel to join us on this enlightening journey. And remember, each part of our discussion today is crafted with purpose. So we ask that you journey through the entirety of this video with us. Number one, lack of shared interests. The ancient Stoics, with their profound understanding of the human condition, emphasized the importance of shared virtues and ideals as the bedrock of any meaningful relationship. In a modern context, this translates not only to shared values, but also to shared interests, activities and passions that foster a deeper connection and understanding between partners. At the core of Stoicism is the pursuit of eudaimonia, often translated as flourishing or the good life. This philosophical ideal extends beyond the individual to the relationships we nurture, suggesting that a partnership thrives when both individuals are aligned in their pursuit of personal growth and moral excellence. Shared interests become the avenues through which we explore these ideals together, whether it's through the arts, literature, nature, or any domain that stimulates mutual growth and curiosity. However, the absence of shared interests can lead to a chasm within a relationship, a subtle drift where each individual's path diverges, leaving little common ground for connection. Imagine walking through a garden with a companion in silence, not because of the peace it brings to your shared journey, but because the paths you tread no longer intersect with stories, laughter, or mutual wonder. This is not to say that every interest must be shared, 
for individuality breathes its own unique life into the relationship's dynamic. Yet, without a thread of common interests to weave your experiences together, the fabric of the relationship may begin to fray. The stoic practice of reflecting on our actions and choices and aligning them with our inner virtues encourages us to consciously cultivate interests that not only foster our personal growth but also enhance our connections with those we love. It is in the act of sharing, be it an intellectual debate, a serene walk in nature, or the joy of creating something together, that we find a reflection of Stoicism's communal aspect, the idea that our well-being is deeply interconnected with that of others. In embracing shared interests, we also embrace the Stoic ideals of wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. We practice wisdom in understanding and respecting each other's passions, justice in giving time and space to explore these shared activities, courage in trying new experiences together, and moderation in balancing our individual pursuits with those we share. Number 2. Divergent Values and Beliefs at first glance, divergent values and beliefs between partners might seem like mere obstacles to be navigated or even charming quirks that add color to a relationship. However, as we delve deeper, we uncover that these differences touch on something far more fundamental, the very principles by which we choose to live our lives. From the Stoic perspective, our values and beliefs are not static markers but dynamic forces that shape our actions, decisions, and ultimately, our character. They influence how we respond to adversity, how we celebrate joy, and how we forge our path through the myriad complexities of the world. Consider for a moment the stoic ideal of living in agreement with nature, which encompasses not just the natural world, but the nature of human society and personal relationships. This principle encourages us to seek harmony within ourselves and with others, promoting a life of virtue in accordance with reason. Now imagine navigating a relationship where fundamental beliefs about what constitutes a good life, the nature of right and wrong, or even the goals one should aspire to achieve, are in stark contrast. This divergence can create a chasm, not just in day-to-day -day choices, but in the very essence of what each partner holds dear. However, the wisdom of Stoicism also teaches us the value of perspective and the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. In the face of divergent values and beliefs, it beckons us to engage in open, honest dialogue, seeking to understand the depth and breadth of our differences it challenges us to question whether these divergences are insurmountable walls or perhaps opportunities for growth, mutual understanding and the deepening of our own philosophical convictions. The Stoic approach to relationships does not demand uniformity in every aspect of our values and beliefs. Rather, it encourages a mutual respect for the rational, moral faculties of each partner. It invites us to consider whether our shared life can be a testament to the stoic virtues of wisdom, justice, courage and moderation, even in the face of differences. Can we find common ground in the pursuit of the good life, as defined by the principles of stoicism, that respects the dignity and autonomy of each partner? As we reflect on the role of divergent values and beliefs in our relationships, let us do so with the Stoic virtues in mind. Let us engage with each other from a place of empathy, understanding and a sincere desire for the flourishing of both individuals within the partnership. This, after all, is the essence of a relationship that not only endures, but thrives in the rich soil of shared virtues and mutual respect. Number 3. Being unable to be your true self. This concept resonates deeply with the Stoic philosophy, which places paramount importance on authenticity, self-awareness, and living in accordance with one's true nature. 
The ancient Stoics, with their profound emphasis on virtue and living a life of purpose, teach us that the essence of our being should never be compromised for the sake of external approval or conformity. The ability to be one's true self in the presence of another is not merely a luxury, but a cornerstone of any genuine relationship. Imagine for a moment the strain of wearing a mask, not the physical kind, but an invisible one that hides your true thoughts, feelings, and essence from the world, and more poignantly, from those you love. This facade, while it might offer temporary shelter from vulnerability, ultimately leads to a disconnect not only from your partner, but from the very core of your being. Stoicism, with its focus on inner freedom and the cultivation of personal virtue, offers a compelling framework for understanding the importance of authenticity in relationships. To the Stoics, the integrity of one's character and the pursuit of a life aligned with reason and virtue are paramount. This pursuit necessitates a level of honesty and transparency with oneself and, by extension, with one's partner that is often challenging yet deeply rewarding. In a relationship where one cannot be their true self, we find a misalignment not just with stoic principles but with the fundamental human need for connection and understanding. The stoic practice of introspection, examining one's thoughts, motivations and actions, is rendered incomplete if one's true self is cloaked in the shadows of pretense or fear of judgment. How can one pursue the stoic ideal of living in harmony with one's nature if that very nature is suppressed or obscured? Furthermore, the stoic concept of oikiosis the natural affection and sense of belonging one feels towards oneself and gradually towards others is compromised when authenticity is lacking. This natural progression towards mutual care and understanding is stunted when partners do not fully reveal themselves to each other. Without this foundation of genuine self-expression, the relationship lacks the depth and resilience needed to navigate the inevitable challenges life presents. Yet, the path to unveiling one's true self is not devoid of obstacles. It requires courage, another stoic virtue, to lower the defenses we've meticulously constructed over time. It demands wisdom to discern whom to trust with our vulnerabilities and moderation to balance our innate desire for self-expression with the sensitivity towards our partner's feelings and perspectives. In embracing our true selves within the context of our relationships, we not only adhere to the stoic principles of authenticity and virtue, but also open the door to a more profound, meaningful connection with our partners. This journey towards authenticity, while fraught with vulnerability, is ultimately a testament to the strength and depth of a relationship that can flourish under the auspices of mutual respect understanding and a shared commitment to growth both as individuals and as partners in life's journey number four the desire for change in your partner in the nuanced dance of a relationship the desire to see change in one's partner can be a delicate topic echoing the stoic principles of acceptance and focusing on what is within our control the stoics with their profound understanding of human nature taught us that the only true domain we have control over is our own thoughts, actions and responses. This wisdom sheds light on the complexities of desiring change in those we are close to, especially our partners. When we speak of wanting our partner to change, it's essential to reflect on the root of this desire. Is it a wish for them to grow and flourish in their own right, or is it a reflection of our own needs, insecurities, or expectations. The Stoic philosophy would urge us to turn inward, examining our motivations and recognizing the boundary between what is within our control, our perceptions, judgments and actions, and what is not, namely the thoughts, beliefs and actions of another. This introspection is not a call for complacency or resignation, but a reminder of the power of leading by example. 
Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, famously said, lead yourself then by your example. If we desire growth, understanding, or even specific changes within our relationship, we can embody these values and virtues in our own lives, serving as a beacon of inspiration rather than a force of compulsion. This approach fosters an environment of mutual respect and encouragement, where change is inspired rather than imposed. Moreover, the desire for change in a partner can sometimes mirror a deeper longing for connection or fulfillment within the relationship. The stoic practice of open and honest communication, grounded in respect and empathy, becomes vital. Discussing hopes, expectations, and areas for growth openly can bridge understanding and foster a partnership where both individuals feel supported in their journey towards personal and mutual improvement. Yet, Stoicism also teaches us the virtue of acceptance, recognizing and embracing the imperfections in ourselves and others, not as flaws to be fixed, but as parts of a complex whole. This acceptance does not negate the desire for growth or improvement, but places it within a context of unconditional love and acceptance. It is the understanding that while we may walk together on paths of personal development, the journey is inherently personal and cannot be coerced. The essence of Stoicism in the context of desiring change in a partner, therefore, lies in the balance between acceptance and inspiration. It is about nurturing an environment where growth is a shared journey, inspired by example, open dialogue, and mutual respect. It reminds us to focus on what is within our power, our attitudes, actions, and reactions, and to approach our partner's journey with understanding, patience, and an open heart. This philosophy does not just apply to the individual, but extends to the very fabric of our relationships, weaving a stronger, more resilient bond, grounded in the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. Number five, mismatched libidos. The Stoics, with their profound emphasis on understanding, acceptance, and the management of desires, offer a rich philosophical grounding for addressing this delicate aspect of a relationship. Mismatched libidos are a common challenge, yet they're often shrouded in silence due to societal taboos and personal discomfort. The stoic approach to such challenges begins with the recognition of the natural diversity in human desires and the understanding that our reactions to these differences are within our control. This acknowledgement is crucial, for it shifts the narrative from one of blame or inadequacy to one of mutual understanding and compassion. In Stoicism, there's a powerful concept known as Amor Fati, which translates to love of fate or love of one's fate. Applied to the context of mismatched libidos, it encourages partners to embrace this aspect of their relationship not as a flaw, but as a part of their shared journey. This perspective doesn't imply passive acceptance, but rather an active engagement in finding a balanced path forward. It's about loving the challenge as it is, and together seeking solutions that honor both partners' needs and boundaries. The stoic practice of open and honest communication plays a vital role here. Discussing sexual desires and needs openly can be daunting, yet it's essential for understanding and meeting each other halfway. It's not merely about compromise, but about finding creative and fulfilling ways to express intimacy that resonate with both partners. This dialogue, grounded in respect and empathy, aligns with the stoic principle of focusing on what can be controlled, our actions, words and attitudes towards each other. Furthermore, the stoic virtue of temperance or moderation offers guidance in navigating sexual discrepancies. It teaches the value of finding a middle ground, one that respects both the higher libido partner's desires for intimacy and the lower libido partner's need for less frequent sexual encounters. 
Temperance encourages a broader view of intimacy, one that encompasses physical closeness, emotional bonding, and shared experiences beyond the sexual realm. The challenge of mismatched libidos, viewed through the lens of Stoicism, becomes an opportunity for personal and relational growth. It's an invitation to practice virtues like courage, the courage to express one's needs and vulnerabilities, wisdom, to understand and respect each other's perspectives, and justice, to seek a balance that considers the well-being of both partners equally. In embracing these stoic principles, partners can navigate the complexities of mismatched libidos with compassion, creativity, and a deeper sense of connection. It's about building a relationship that thrives on understanding, mutual respect, and the shared commitment to each other's happiness and fulfillment. Number six, lack of laughter and joy. In the realm of relationships, the presence of laughter and joy acts not just as a catalyst for deepening connections, but as a reflection of compatibility and mutual understanding. Stoicism might not explicitly prescribe laughter, yet it fundamentally aligns with the joy that comes from a profound acceptance and appreciation of life's moments. This connection between Stoicism and the role of laughter in a relationship is nuanced and deeply philosophical, urging us to explore the importance of shared joy and how its absence can signal a deeper disconnection. Laughter, in its most authentic form, is an expression of joy that transcends the mere act of finding something humorous. It is a shared experience that bonds individuals, creating moments of genuine connection and mutual understanding. The absence of these shared moments of joy can often point to a misalignment in the way partners perceive and engage with the world and each other. Stoicism teaches us the value of inner tranquility and the pursuit of a virtuous life, principles that when shared within a relationship can foster an environment where laughter and joy naturally flourish. It encourages us to find contentment and happiness in our connections with others, highlighting that the richest sources of joy often lie in the simple, shared experiences of life. When laughter begins to fade from a relationship, it may signal a need to revisit the foundation upon which the partnership is built. Are we, perhaps, too focused on external sources of stress or discontent that we forget to cherish the moments of joy and laughter that are present within our bond? Stoicism reminds us of the importance of focusing on what is within our control, our attitudes, perceptions, and the value we place on our relationships. By adopting a stoic approach, we can strive to cultivate a mindset that prioritizes shared experiences of joy, viewing them as essential to the strength and resilience of the relationship. Moreover, the absence of laughter and joy might indicate a deeper lack of understanding or compatibility between partners. Stoicism, with its emphasis on self-awareness and mutual respect, suggests that finding common ground in values, interests and perspectives on life can reignite the spark of shared joy. It proposes that laughter is not merely about shared humor, but about shared life philosophies and the joy that arises from a harmonious union of souls. In this light, laughter becomes a barometer for the health and vitality of the relationship, reflecting the depth of connection and mutual understanding between partners. In addressing the lack of laughter and joy, Stoicism offers a path forward, one of open communication, mutual support, and a shared commitment to nurturing the relationship. It encourages partners to engage in activities that bring joy, to cultivate a sense of gratitude for the moments of happiness they share, and to approach challenges with a mindset that values growth and learning together. By aligning with Stoic principles, partners can navigate the complexities of their relationship with wisdom, courage, and a renewed focus on cultivating joy and laughter as central pillars of their bond. Thus, 
In the journey of a relationship marked by the absence of laughter and joy, Stoicism provides a philosophical anchor that encourages a deeper exploration of shared values, mutual respect, and the conscious cultivation of joy. It teaches us that laughter is not just an accessory to a relationship, but a reflection of the shared understanding, love, and companionship that binds two people together in the pursuit of a fulfilling life. Number 7. Different Love Languages Understanding and expressing love through different languages is a fascinating journey within relationships, akin to navigating a vast sea with diverse currents and winds. This metaphor beautifully ties into Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes understanding and working with the natural flow of life and relationships, respecting and valuing the unique ways in which we each express and perceive love. The concept of love languages Words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time and physical touch highlights the diversity of our emotional needs and expressions. Stoicism, with its focus on self-awareness, empathy and the cultivation of deep, meaningful relationships, offers a rich foundation for exploring and bridging these differences in love languages. The essence of Stoicism teaches us the importance of knowing oneself and others, encouraging a profound understanding of our internal worlds and how they shape our interactions with those we love. When partners in a relationship express love in different languages, it can be likened to speaking in distinct dialects of the same fundamental desire for connection, appreciation and affection. Just as Stoicism advocates for the pursuit of wisdom, understanding the nature of things, applying this principle to love languages involves a deep dive into recognizing and valuing the unique ways our partners experience and express love. Embracing different love languages from a Stoic perspective involves practicing empathy and patience, virtues that allow us to see beyond our own preferences and to value our partner's expressions of love, even when they differ significantly from our own. This alignment with Stoic values fosters a relationship environment where each partner strives to understand and speak the other's love language, not as a duty, but as a genuine expression of love and respect. It's about finding joy in the act of learning and adapting to each other's emotional dialects, seeing this as a path to deeper mutual understanding and connection. Moreover, the Stoic concept of mutual growth and support comes to the forefront when navigating different love languages. Stoicism encourages us to view challenges as opportunities for personal and relational growth. Thus, when faced with the challenge of different love languages, instead of viewing it as an obstacle, we can see it as an opportunity to expand our emotional vocabulary and to deepen our relationship through the intentional practice of love in its various forms. This approach is not about changing ourselves or our partners, but about expanding our capacity to give and receive love in all its diversity. The practice of Stoicism in the context of different love languages also teaches us the value of clear and open communication, echoing the Stoic principle of living according to nature, our true nature, which includes our innate need for connection and understanding. Engaging in honest discussions about our emotional needs and how we express love allows couples to navigate their differences with compassion and respect, aligning with the Stoic virtues of wisdom courage and justice. As we draw the curtain on today's exploration of love, understanding and the stoic journey through the complexities of relationships, we are reminded of the profound strength found in embracing our differences, learning the language of love that resonates with our partners and walking the path of emotional growth and mutual respect together. It's in these moments of shared understanding and effort that our bonds deepen reflecting the true essence of companionship and love as envisioned by Stoic philosophy. Thank you for joining us today on Stoic Journal. 
Your presence and engagement are what make this community a beacon of wisdom and introspection in the modern world. As we continue to navigate the seas of life, let's remember the power of stoic virtues in fostering relationships that aren't just enduring but truly flourishing. If you found today's journey enlightening, consider diving deeper into the art of living a virtuous life by watching one of the suggested videos on your screen. Each step you take is a step towards wisdom, resilience and a deeper connection with those around you. Until next time, may you find joy in the journey, strength in the struggle and love in the language of the heart.